Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Chris Rivers. And I'm Mandy and Mack. And we're Poe on the Call here with episode 18, getting into funny Poe phrases or vernacular, <laughs> <laughs> whichever you prefer. <laughs> And because we love words. <laughs> yeah. And it's true that all polars love words because we use a lot of silly ones in class. And yeah. we we asked around and we, we compiled a huge gigantic list of the ridiculous things you might hear in poll class or in the club or anywhere you might find a poll and a polar. <laughs> yes. And it might might inspire you to maybe create some of your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because sometimes these phrases are really, we, most of them are useful and helpful and like creating imagery and how we can like feel some of the pole tricks in our body and stuff like that. But, you know, if we were to say these things outside in public, like at a grocery store, people would not understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, and with, I guess, a pre-warning, some of these may be explicit. You are warned, um, but we are still <laughs> going to share them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you want to start right. with, with some of, I can start with my, my list of personal as a teacher. <laughs> yeah, if you like, go right ahead. <laughs> um, my students helped help me compile this list. But one of the first ones is, you know, in a wrist sit, when you want to sit like just in your handshake grip. But the way that I remind students is how to remember it is you want to sit with your hand underneath your butt, like you're giving a sample to a doctor. <laughs> so that's, that's one of my phrases. Um, but yeah, really silly. And but you'll never forget it. Some people also say thumb up the butt. <laughs> But I don't say that one too much. <laughs> um, one, another one I have said, though, is fruit cup to the floor. And that's when you make full touchdown in your split. <laughs> um, we always talk about back farts. And that's when the space underneath your back, maybe you're doing a crunch on the floor. Um, you have some like sweatiness. And it creates that friction. And it sounds like a big old fart, but it's from your back. And those are back farts. Um, that one I really appreciate all the time. Sometimes we have back fart wars. <laughs> um, I have different names for the parts of your butt. <laughs> the side butt, the low butt, middle butt, um, upper butt. Um, let's see. A lot of times the leg or the arm is a kickstand. That one is a good one for vision, like imagery, just like really thinking about something strong, just out and not like wavering. Um, in moves like chopsticks, I will tell my students to show your bunny tail so that you really like <laughs> lean over and get the full chopstick experience. Maybe you wanna get that split, that flat line. Um, you need to really show us your bunny tail. <laughs> um, and then the final one that I always say, and I think it's just like always in poll for, for me, is whenever you lift your leg up, um, you're peeing on the fire hydrant or you're peeing all over the sidewalls or you're just peeing. Um, I don't know why lifting your leg always has to indicate peeing, but um, it's a good way to visualize, <laughs> at least in my classroom, of how to do many of these tricks, the tricks that require the hip lift. <laughs> so that's my list, Chris. Too funny. And that is your personal list? That's my list that I say. <laughs> yeah. That students helped me. The students helped me figure them out. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, goodness, I have a couple. Um, are, should I go into my list? And then we'll go yes. into other. Okay. <laughs> So I guess my list, what are some I've done? Um, leg magic, I like using that. And that's like pretty much, I guess leg waves are when you're upside down doing pretty shapes with your leg, any pretty shape with your leg, leg magic. <laughs> um, what is another one? Um, in certifications, we're always taught not to use breasts and I always forget, but I always end up saying, watch out for the breast <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I'm not really sure. I, I guess it, <laughs> it makes me feel better than saying just watch out for your breaths. breaths. <laughs> um, There's multiple, um, multiple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so watch out for the breaths. This was. Um, what is another one? Oh, sometimes if I like if I want the students to be a little sexy or um, flaunt it a little, I'll say give the audience what they want. <laughs> so like uh, forward bend, show them your booty, or maybe like, you know, something sexy, give the audience what they want. Uh, let me see, what else do I say? Um, oh, like thug it out. <laughs> I say this because oftentimes when you go to a pole class where you see pole dancers like it could be pretty flowy and um like kind of feminine not all the time so when I say thug it out I'm trying to tell new students or all sorts of students feel free to like kind of uh be as if be gangster or just not as flowy as you want just kind of be rough around the edges um so that's what I mean by thug it out <laughs> <laughs> what else do I say? Um, always, fuck, God, I should have wrote these down, but I completely forgot. I was thinking about the list that we got sent to us. Um, show them your booty, or let me see. Oh, yes. Um, one of my favorite ones is when you're doing the speed bump and then your chest is still pressing and you got to keep that arch. And I'm like, show them your arches. Get Keep the arch. Keep your arch. There's booty, booty, booty. <laughs> like, it should, there should be no hollow. I want to see arch in your chest is pressed. <laughs> like, um, the, the amount of times that we say booty in class is just like a million a million Fact, times. I think somebody even wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, um, you're squeezing tight as hell. <laughs> and that's with like any grip, like your stronghold, your knee grip. Um, oh, and what else? You're trying to kick your booty. So like you're really engaging that foot. And like in knee hooks, and the goal is to kind of kick your booty. Yeah. Um, I've heard that one, and I started using that one a lot. What else is there? I think that's it for now. I probably come up. I'll probably think of more later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, as we, because um, we we took it to Facebook <laughs> in the <laughs> Pole Junkies Facebook group, and everyone was so um, generous with their responses. I have three screenshots of responses <laughs> that Chris, Chris and I will, will now read to you right now. So yeah. these are submitted. Um, I'll, do you want, I'll read the first screenshot and you read the second one. Sure, are we giving the names the or just the, just the quote? Um, let's just do the quote, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, the first one is Vagina Monster, which obviously we all know what that is, but you know, if you were talking about the vagina monster in a grocery store, probably. Get, oh no, that's this is the wrong list. <laughs> <laughs> I started at the end. Let me start at the beginning. Okay, the first one. <laughs> Tits to Jesus. Now I understand this one, um, <laughs> but I was laughing because like there was several that were like religious related, and I was like, where could Jesus be? Like, maybe he's over here. Maybe he's over here. And he's in our heart. I don't know. Tits to Jesus. I don't un really understand that. <laughs> Chris, do you understand that one? I think that means, like, you should be facing up. <laughs> to the sky. Okay. <laughs> there were several of these that were like that. I was like, what? Oh, yeah, the spreading to the gods. That was the one that um, Maddie Sparkle does a lot with um, that... Uh, the Australian guy that talks over her videos all the time. Have you seen that, Chris? I don't think so. No! <laughs> There's like this announcer that just like, um, he, he'll like talk over her videos and like he'll talk about the spready to the gods. Um, every time she does a split and there'll be like a spready to the, the side and like all these other things. So that, that one I understand. <laughs> um, 
The next one is got to grip up my butt, which we all understand for sure. You definitely need to grip up your butt, especially if you're doing like Titanic or Superman, stuff like that. Um, grab it with your chicken wing. <laughs> or it also says T-Rex arm, which I understand because I use that one too. <laughs> Although forearm grip is always your T-Rex arm. Here, I'm doing it on my pole here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really ridiculous. <laughs> Crotch pocket. I don't not too sure what that one is. I've never used that one. Chris, have you used that one? Crotch pocket. I'm pretty sure it's your hip fold, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so that one, that's what that one's referring to. Yeah, because like you in your poses, you never want in the crotch. You want it in the fold. <laughs> your crotch Got pocket. It, okay. so that's what I'm thinking of. Your crotch pocket. Okay, so now that one makes sense. <laughs> um, do the old reach around technique. I can understand that one. <laughs> Um, fanny basher, definitely understand that one. Um, and the fanny, I guess, is the English word for <laughs> for pussy. So we would probably say in the United States, pushy basher, basher, basher. Really, I thought fanny was booty. Oh, I guess yeah, and it would also be booty for us. But in some other um, <laughs> regions of the world, they, yeah, yeah, I learned. It was, I forget how I learned that, but it was definitely in a funny, <laughs> embarrassing way. <laughs> so the fanny basher, either the front or the back, <laughs> depending on your region. Um, when you feel like the pole has given you a bikini wax, we call it the ginger fanny. See another one where fanny indicates the front. Yeah. It's a free bikini wax. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next one, foot con concierge service, which I didn't quite understand. I'm thinking like your foot helps, maybe like a sickle foot, like <laughs> that's all right, because concierge service is like helping in foot, so your foot right? is helping somehow. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> the foot, I, hmm. so I'll have to think about that one. Should ask yes. about that one. Um, be careful of your hoo ha. That is general advice for not just pole, but for any any mm -hmm. sort of situation. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> more ass to the pole, always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> butt stuff again with the, the butt stuff. <laughs> it's always fun. Cr <laughs> crotch to the mirror. Yes, that's like the bunny tail one. That's what I would say. And there's never a class where I don't pull out the that's what she said. <laughs> I like the I changed it to now that's what they said because now I get buddy can really say, I right? love that's what she said, but now it's definitely <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> right, that's so true. I'm usually like the last to figure them out too, because I'll be just in like teaching mode and not really realizing what I'm saying, and then someone will say it. <laughs> 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 and then the last one on this page was vagina monsters which is the first <laughs> that I had read um, but yeah the vagina monster is just a ridiculous <laughs> term but we all understand it even if you didn't know what I was talking about and you were a polar and I said vagina monster you'd be like that must be <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> alright so that was my the first screenshot yeah I thought of two more that I used. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, crotch to pole or underwear to pole, which I learned from Paulina, which is when oh. you're doing your inverts, make sure you get the underwear closer so you can get that knee hook past your hands. Ah, <laughs> and that, yes, thank you, Paulina, for that. <laughs> I think you even use it too sometimes. <laughs> and then... What's a big one? I started recently using, and people love it, scream. Just because it hurts so much in the house when you scream. <laughs> and they do it, and they love it. Oh my gosh, I've been doing that too, because like I will make noises all the time when I'm exerting. <laughs> and I think it's good, because you're also exhaling. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, so if the is. student needs to make it an audible noise, they definitely should. <laughs> Definitely, it helps. Audible breathing, yes. <laughs> <Too funny. laughs>
All right. Should I read the Instagram ones or the second Facebook one? Um, up to you. I guess I'll do the Instagram one. Okay. Um, so the first one, starting where we ended, Vagina Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that to me again. I think I know what it is, but I want to make sure. <laughs> it's when you're on the... Here, hopefully I won't fall out of my chair. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a slur move. <laughs> so leg magic. <laughs> Le- yes, it's leg magic! Which I, I prefer. Love it. I prefer saying I leg love- magic. <laughs> Your vagina monster. That's cute, though. Okay. Um, uh, someone on Instagram wrote just the sheer number of times someone will say booty in an hour and it's so true (laughs) Um, I mean it's so important you need to squeeze your booty you need to kick your foot to your booty you need to do this with your booty it's just so important and pole help shape the booty (laughs) so our next one what is this crab legs which is when you're doing leg waves with heels but a little too aggressively so i'm assuming like vagina monster on steroids so this is like when you're first learning it and you're like oh yeah i don't like that (laughs) (laughs) your legs are just like going wild like you're like a crab oh my goodness that that hurts so much (laughs) except there was this one one move where um i thought of and i called it the king crab and it's the the wavy legs that i showed you but then you also added in your arms so you're doing a coccyx balance wavy legs wavy arms and it's opposite so like the leg will go down and the arm will go up i can't do it right now but i will (laughs) Let me see. That looks like that's promise. what I called it the king crab. I yeah. don't know. I'm not doing it. Oh, right? It's really hard. <laughs> I just felt it in my lower back. I was like, yeah, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Still got a weekend left to teach. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All right. Um, the next one is when your instructors say, look at your boobs as a safety cue for sliding down to tuck your neck in. Mm. Yes, I have heard that one. I always just say chin to chest, but yes, look at your boobs works too. I know, I always say chin to chest too, or I'll say like stare at your belly button. I've never even heard that one, that's cute. <laughs> and I think that's all we got on Instagram. We got a shit ton more on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you want to continue with the second page or? Yeah, or we could go every other. I don't mind. Oh my goodness! Right, there's so many. <laughs> okay, I tell people to hot dog their bun when getting the pole up in their business for Superman. Oh my goodness, that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> sounds delicious. Oh <laughs> hot dog your bun. I guess that's a Pretty cute way of, of saying how intimate you have to get with the pole. <laughs> I'm like, my mind is going like, am I tucking it in? Like, how am I hot tucking <laughs> <laughs> Right, like depending yeah. on your bun, your bun shape too, that might, might be hard to understand. <laughs> All righty. Do you want to read the that's next so one? Funny. I can read the next one. I'll, I can do the next one. We call the Superman the not tonight honey move because it wrecks one's crotch. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> How are y'all doing your Superman? It should be wrecking your thighs. <laughs> true, though. It really shouldn't be um, not tonight honey. Like, you could still have tonight honey. Just be like, don't touch my inner thighs. <laughs> I love the not tonight, honey. It's I absolutely love it, but I mean, you guys are really messing up your crotches. <laughs> uh, I've oh, I always thought it was like the thigh. <laughs> I mean, maybe everyone's you know everyone has a different crotch for sure. <laughs> that is true. That's true. <laughs> maybe sometimes it would get messed up. 
and and would need this this cue. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> also there's been many times where like i've accidentally gone a little bit too far and then it would be not tonight <laughs> it's okay i guess i'm trying to think maybe, maybe if you're doing a castaway into a superman yeah maybe if you yeah maybe if you were doing like some sort of like dynamic jump into a superman okay not yeah. tonight honey <laughs> i'm sorry for that <laughs> I love the say I'm just trying to understand how bad are y'all fucking the crotches up because it's always my inner thighs. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> All righty. Our next one. Oh, Lord. Another religious one. Another religious squeeze one. Squeeze for Jesus, honey. You're going to squeeze for Jesus. <laughs> what are we <laughs> You just want I don't like I miss this part of the... I, I I have a portable fan and I keep dropping it. I think we're it pretty much means you're squeezing anything tight as hell, right? I think that's <laughs> but what not I mean. as hell for Jesus. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, you're right. Squeeze for Jesus instead of tight as hell. I like that. <laughs> okay. All righty. So squeezy beats <laughs> squeeze very hard. Yeah, squeeze for Jesus. Squeeze very hard, all right? You know, squeeze for Jesus. Let's Jesus see. is so happy that we squeezed. Yes, I'm telling you, pole dance is for everyone. Everyone. It's a form of working out. Yes. Yeah, teach the world, teach the world. Yes. All right, I think you got the next one. <laughs> all right, the next one is to, oh, another Superman. But this one's not bashing your your fanny. Um, turn <laughs> to turn into Superman. We say lift your leg like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, which is my <laughs> also what I say too. Yeah, yep. See, we all think when we lift our leg like that, it's just like I'm peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Even though none of us pee like that, who pees like that? I a mean, dog. when I'm drunk and I'm trying not to, like you know, pee on my shoes, I can see it. I can see it happen. <laughs> if I'm outside or, uh, <laughs> or just oh, trying man. to just to see what happens while you're there you should just do a dip turn it'll be so nice <laughs> I can't believe I never thought of that <laughs> the street I'm done oh my goodness this is okay. ridiculous. Sorry, everyone, but you made you made <laughs> us do this. Yes. Um, so this next one, I'm trying to understand it, but let's work it out together. Don't box yourself when ah. doing cast offs. That's like the castaway when I was saying you could smash your crotch into the pole. <laughs> so don't don't box yourself oh, in the box. Like, <laughs> oh, it's like the punching bag. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely never said that. I always say just don't smash your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> that is so um, the next one is Fanny Burn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, yeah, which we've established can be either the front or the back. <laughs> nice little pole burn that feels like rug burn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, another my religious one. <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> my favorite teacher ever would always say, tits to the gods, where we weren't tilting our chest the right direction, and I'd always die laughing. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is similar to the tits to Jesus. Yeah. In the right direction. <laughs> the spreadies to the gods. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> All right, the next one is, oh, this is the one instead of um, hold your hand underneath your butt like you're giving a sample to a doctor. This <laughs> one is the thumb up the butt, which is yeah. equally as memorable. You're not going to forget that hand placement once your teacher tells you either of those cues because you'll just be laughing so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, the next one. Crotch harass the pole. I'm assuming that means get it up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. All right, then another one. Pussy to the sky. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next um, one. Okay, that's there. Yeah, that was you. Responding. What is okay? I love tits and teeth and pull to the hole. Tits and teeth and pull to the hole. Tits and teeth. Okay, so these and these. And pull to, that's like a riddle that I don't understand. <laughs> hole to the hole. Huh. Which hole? I know. I'm thinking like, are we in Titanic and we're like squeezing it that close? <laughs> or like, tits. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> y'all, if y'all watch this or see this, feel free to put it in the comments. It's yeah, uh, this tits and teeth and pull to the wall. <laughs> yes, maybe we definitely hear tits a lot. We definitely do we hear teeth, teeth a lot? Don't fall and break your teeth. <laughs> to the pole and then a hole. It's it sounds like a nice riddle that I would say. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if someone explained it to us, it'd be funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to explain it for sure. All right, the next one is butthole to the sky. And then it says in parentheses for inversions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> butthole to the sky. Butthole to the sky. Mm -hmm. Or bunny tail. Yeah, or underwear to pole. But I mean, butthole's oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Everyone will understand. <laughs> All right, but then we have the last of the internet responses. Um, do you want to start that one, the next one? Oh, wow, there were three. Okay. Don't box yourself. It starts with get your, a get your asshole on the pole. I didn't get them in order. <laughs> so oh, that's okay. That's I okay. <laughs> I found it. Okay, let me see. Get your, like Mandy said, get your asshole on the phone. And there's a message say, this is 100% for the seahorse. Yes. <laughs> yes. And probably I would say Titanic. I love the seahorse. Yeah. Get that asshole on the pole. And that shoulder, too. You really want that shoulder in the pole for the seahorse. <laughs> I love that someone responded. They're like, this is 100%. The one I think she tagged, her. right? Yep. Oh, yeah, she did tag her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which brings us to the next one. Um, ass on a platter, which I've said a million times, too. And I think that the mm -hmm. move is even called ass on a platter. Um, when you literally rest your, your ass on your hand <laughs> pre-floor floor jade, jade. Yeah, yeah right right before the floor jade you sit your booty on the on your hand and then you stand <laughs> but it makes so much sense and once someone had told me that i immediately got it because i wasn't <laughs> leaning enough my you have to literally put your booty on the platter yeah <laughs> I still rather now the jade in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what is well, the next one's okay. long. Yes. Anytime your hands get caught near your crotch and therefore get in the way while you are converting and going into a leg ham, I have a teacher who says, hands out of that cookie jar. She calls the whole pubic area cookie all the time. One time, oh. I can't go into there. But yeah, hands out of the cookie jar. <laughs> the whole pelvis area is a cookie jar. <laughs> you know who else said cookie was um Don Curry. And he Don even Curry. has that one that one shot where you like bend over. Yeah. It's the cookie shot. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Another the cookie jar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the next one is top, <laughs> much like fruit, fruit cup. Um, this person says taco to the tiles, which is when you get your middle split. <laughs> I would never eat tacos the same way again. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> right? Do we want to say taco or fruit cup? <laughs> For this one. <laughs> Which one do we want to ruin? <laughs> Let's ruin fruit cup. <laughs> you know what? I picked, can come in so many ways. <laughs> I picked that one up from another teacher because I thought it was silly. <laughs> Cute. We, at one point, we were all getting our slits and we were like, fruit cup touchdown. And it was like a cute, funny thing. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Someone's been called out in the oh. next one. <laughs> oh, yeah, you always, okay. Yeah, butt cheek. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this I person goes, you, you always say butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm calling someone out. We won't give names here, though. <laughs> to be fair, I think we all say a little bit of butt cheek, some kind of cheek. Oh, yeah. Like, like we said, that's a constant. There's probably like at least 10 times at least for class. We <laughs> refer to <laughs> the buttle area. <laughs> Good area to refer to. Oh my God, the next one too. The next one says, present the butthole, <laughs> which I can completely yeah. understand. I definitely said present before, but not the butthole, but maybe I should. <laughs> for said for shapes and angles, yeah. So is that then, like the booty on the flatter? Yes, sorry, yeah, present your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess I would still say bunny tail because I think it's cuter. And, and like, who doesn't have a bunny tail? <laughs> and then oh, the second half of this person, right? And I don't know why we didn't mention this one, but this one's the most commonly used one. It's pole kisses <laughs> instead of our bruises. Because nobody wants to say, yeah, I'm, I've got bruises all over myself <laughs> from, although, from the thing that I love doing. <laughs> they're full kisses. Although they are sexy. <laughs> yes. They are sexy, though. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they have weird shapes and they're a little bit inspiring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is that just me and we'll being weird? Like, oh. <laughs> all right you want the next one? Oh my gosh there's there's like a three a fur oh and oh i didn't God. see more so we can't see it but there's oh, there's three in this one <laughs> lift with your uterus <laughs> <laughs> how would one lift with their uterus can you, can you can okay you i guess i'll take it <laughs> oh like just like lift okay your uterus high <laughs> <laughs> right if these are just... <laughs> all like gynecological related ones squeeze like you're giving birth <gasps> i thought you're pushing when you're giving birth squeezing keeps the baby in i thought you want <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Chris. I have not given birth. I, have you given birth? No, I've not given birth. Oh, Who knows? I saw, the science Boston, I, I saw the Science Boston Museum video. <laughs> <laughs> you have to squeeze? Squeeze. Well. Oh, I wait. Mean, I, I guess know. I can understand. Because I can because I, it makes me think of one that I say sometimes. I always forget it. Um, squeeze like you're holding in a shit. Yeah. But that way you're squeezing. Squeeze like you're giving birth. You're trying not to have the baby come out. <laughs> oh, I get it. Because they're trying to engage the pelvic floor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
That's so funny. And the last one in that that series was I'm not sticky enough, which is another one. That's what they said. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I'm just too sticky. <laughs> I'm too sticky. Oh, yeah, like when the hand grip like lands in a puddle all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> there are several things that can be said about that too. <laughs> and they don't clean it. Ugh. But we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but we won't talk about that either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the next one? I think it's you. <laughs> Me? Oh, high five the floor to get your arms in the right position to help you grip in a leg hang. High five the floor. Oh, okay. To, to force your arms back. That's a good one. Cause you, sometimes we don't know where our palms are facing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I might okay, I'm take that one. <laughs> First I want to, I want to like, I guess I can understand it. And if you're in the leg hang, yeah, you're kind of giving the floor a high five, squeeze them. Mm. Sometimes you don't know where your right, where your arms are. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully one is squeezing that ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then this is the last one. Oh, this is the one where I think this one just reported sexual harassment. <laughs> yeah, this one we have to we have to come in with a little warning about consent, um, because perhaps you know we don't know what what kind of community the studio has. Maybe they're all open with each other and they they all um, have consented to this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but do do you want to read it? Or do you want me to read it? Yeah, <laughs> um, one of the ladies in my class keeps slapping the other students on the butt. So I call them pole fives. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do that to someone else unless. I mean, I, actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to someone else. But everyone's different. Um, yeah. Kudos to your studio if you allow that and like you're all close like that. That's nice. That's a good relationship. Tracks. Pole fives. But this will not happen in every studio, y'all. So don't be don't be scared to come out thinking you're gonna get slapped in your ass for a good job. Yeah. <laughs> this is not at every studio, yeah. And always, if you are involved in doing poll fives and you enjoy poll fives, and there's someone new in your community who is not used to doing poll fives, just inform them of the practice before um, you go ahead and do it to them, and see what they say first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. I didn't know that pole now has a good game version. <laughs> <laughs> pole vibes. <laughs> well, I think that's all of the silly, funny things we could say in class. I'm sure there's many more too. Um, so if you have more, add your yeah. silly, fun comment that you say in pole class. Um, yeah, and we'll all have a laugh. Mm-hmm. And maybe depending on how long that list gets, we'll make another episode. (laughs) Where we're like, I don't understand this one. (laughs) (laughs) But for real, if you understand some of the ones that we didn't understand, if you want to enlighten us, um, that would be cool. Because, you know, a lot of times... It was the tits and the teeth and the pole (laughs) hole. Yeah, that one. While it was really poetic sounding, it was a riddle. Um that I did not I want to know what it means (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh so funny but yeah poll is funny and it should be fun and silly and you know back farts happen (laughs) so yeah (laughs) Yeah. do you have anything else to say about silly things um I guess on another note too, um, always just kind of be mindful um, with what you say. Like whole things are fun, um, and even I sometimes like slip um, accidentally. Um, just be mindful; you don't want to hurt anybody. Um, people take things differently. We're trying to be a loving community. We're all in this together, but always be mindful and respectful of other people, but have fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually glad you said that because I think, um, you know, we, in our studio, we'd be a little bit 
mindful of like referring to body parts and stuff like that. And we, we don't really say like vagina, we'll say crotch, uh, you know, we won't really say boobs, we'll say like chest, you know, stuff like that, things that everyone might have that we can all um, understand and refer to and not feel left out in pole class, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, now that we've all had our fun, let's have a disclaimer because fun at other people's expense is not, not cool too, so. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, what else? What else? What else? So many <laughs> cool things. Our intermediate interactive poster is out for download, and we're going to be getting hard copies for sale soon. Um, we are also posting, let me see, when will this air? Yes. Yeah, so this week, if you're on social media or if you're an email subscriber, you've already received it um the schedule for june's poll um poll into summer challenge so excited this one is going to be a little bit easier and giving you some free um some freedom to have fun with it if you participate and tag us at least once so we know or subscribe via email you'll get a certificate at the end and everybody who tags will be entered to win one of the free interactive poster downloads. Um, but yeah, anything else? Uh, well, I think that's it. Yes. As always, feel free to, oh, actually I lied. As always, feel free to send us your poll pics and motivational quotes. And um, we have a future episode coming um, why do you love Paul? If you like, send us a one minute, two minute video just explaining why you like Paul um, to share with the world. We're going to make a compilation video, a special episode of sharing everybody's answer to why they love Paul. Um, so feel free to reach out on Instagram, link below, or send us that video via email. Um, Lord, I'm glad you said that because I forgot about that episode and I need to start asking <laughs> students. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yes, so excited. And if there's anything else you always want to hear about, please feel free to reach out. We love hearing from you on Instagram. A lot of these topics are your ideas and we love it because, yes, I mean, this is why we're here for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> thank you so much for the support always and for all your comments and everything and for sharing us and also if you want to be interviewed if you um you know want to share your story and it might be a small story to you but it'll be a big story to someone um that that touch it gets touched by your story so you know yeah. it's always better to just share your story and let us listen to your journey <laughs> yes um and if you can, as always, if you're listening to this or watching this, feel free to hit that like or subscribe button, especially in the podcast area, too, because when you like us or even leave a comment or rate us, um, they will spread us farther to other people who need this information because we're trying to make pole dance normal and show the world that it is a beautiful way to work out and a beautiful thing for everybody. So hit that like and subscribe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Love it so much. Yeah. Like said, that's it, huh? I think that's it, yeah. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna do our little sign now. You might have already saw mm -hmm. me put on my heels. <laughs> <laughs> like I did not put on my heels, but oh, wait, <laughs> there's some heels right here. Hold on. Let me just Flip one in. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Poem. We are Poe on the Call. I'm Chris Rivers. And I'm Mandy Mack. And we are signing <laughs> the Crab Legs. Crab Legs. <laughs> <laughs>